Christmas. How are you guys doing tonight? That sounds wonderful. First of all, thank you, Gary. And welcome to everyone here in Las Vegas and joining us online. It's great to be here with all of you to kick off CES 2026. Now, we are at CES. It is a little bit about show and tell. So I am proud to show you Helios right here in Vegas, the world's best AI rack. Now, for those of you who have not seen a rack before, let me tell you, Helios is a monster of a rack. This is no regular rack, okay? This is a double-wide design based on the OCP Open Rack Wide standard developed in collaboration with Meta, and it weighs nearly 7,000 pounds. So, Gary, it took us a bit to get it up here, just so you know. Uh, but we wanted to show you what is really powering all of this AI. It is actually more than two compact cars. Now, the way we've designed Helios is was really working closely with our lead customers, and we chose this design so that we could optimize serviceability, manufacturability, and reliability for next generation AI data centers. Now, let me show you a few other things. At the center of Helios is the compute tray. So let's take a closer look at what one of those trays look like. Now, I can tell you, I probably cannot lift this compute tray, so it had to come out. Um, but let me just describe it a little bit. Each Helios compute tray includes four MI455 GPUs, and they're paired with the next-gen Epic Venice CPU and Pensando networking chips. And all of this is liquid-cooled so that we can maximize performance. At the heart of Helios is our next-generation Instinct GPUs. And you guys have seen me hold up a lot of chips in my career, but today I can tell you I am genuinely excited to hold up this chip. So let me show you MI455X for the very first time. MI455 is the most advanced chip we've ever built. It's pretty darn big. It has 320 billion transistors, 70% more than MI355. It includes 12 2 nanometer and 3 nanometer compute and I.O. chiplets and 432 gigabytes of ultra-fast HBM4, all connected with our next-gen 3D chip stacking technology. So we put four of these into the compute trays up here. And then driving those GPUs is our next generation Epic CPU, codenamed Venice. Venice extends our leadership across every dimension that matters in the data center. More performance, better efficiency, and lower total cost of ownership. Now, let me show you Venice for the first time. I have to say, this is another beautiful chip. I, I do love our chips, so I can say that for sure. Uh, Venice is built with two nanometer process technology and features up to 256 of our newest high-performance Zen 6 cores. And the key here is we actually designed Venice to be the best AI CPU. We doubled the memory and GPU bandwidth from our prior generation, so Venice can feed MI455 with data at full speed, even at rack scale. So this is really about co-engineering. And we tie it all together with our 800 gig Ethernet Pensando Volcano and Selena networking chips, delivering ultra high bandwidth as well as ultra low latency, so tens of thousands of Helios racks can scale across the data center.
Now, just to give you a little bit of the scale of what this means, that means that each Helios rack has more than 18,000 CDNA 5 GPU compute units and more than 4,600 Zen 6 CPU cores, delivering up to 2.9 exaflops of performance. Each rack also includes 31 terabytes of HBM4 memory, an industry-leading 260 terabytes per second of scale-up bandwidth, and 43 terabytes per second of aggregate scale-out bandwidth to move data in and out incredibly fast. Luma's mission is to build multimodal general intelligence so AI can understand our world and help us simulate and, and improve it. Most AI video and image models today, uh, they're in early, early stages, and they're, they're used to generate pixels. They're used to produce, you know, pretty pictures. What is needed in the world are more intelligent models that combine audio, video, language, image all together. So at Luma, we are training these systems that simulate physics, causality, are able to go out, do research, call tools, and then finally, render out the results in audio, video, image, text, whatever is appropriate for the information that you're trying to work with. In short, we are modeling and generating worlds. Let me show you actually what that looks like. It, this won't have audio, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you're seeing. So what's playing on the screen is a demo of Ray3's world editing capabilities. It can take any real or AI footage, so footage from cameras or footage that you generated, and change it as little or as much as you want to realize the creative goals. It's a powerful system that we have developed for our most ambitious customers who are most demanding, and, and they, they sp spread the gamut across entertainment, advertising, uh, and, and this has allowed us to enable a new era of hybrid human AI productions. The human becomes the prompt through motion, timing, and direction, like, you know, you act it out, and, and then the model can produce it. What that means in practice is that filmmakers and creators can create entire cinematic universes, now without elaborate sets, and then edit and modify anything to get to the result they want. Today, I'm proud to announce the new Ryzen AI 400 series, the industry's broadest and most advanced family of AI PC processors. Ryzen AI 400 combines up to 12 high-performance Zen 5 CPU cores, 16 RDNA, uh, RDNA 3.5 GPU cores, our latest XDNA 2 NPU delivering up to 60 tops of AI compute and support for faster memory speeds. These flagship Ryzen AI mobile processors deliver significantly faster content creation and multitasking performance compared to the competition. Now, there's a lot of excitement for the Ryzen AI 400 series, and if you're walking around CES this week, you're going to see many notebooks launching this week. The first Ryzen AI 400 series PCs begin shipping later this month with more than 120 ultra-thin gaming and commercial PCs launching throughout the year from every major OEM across every AI PC form factor. Today, I'm excited to announce the AMD Ryzen AI Halo, a new reference platform for local AI deployment. Now, I would say this is pretty beautiful. Do you guys agree? So let me tell you what it is. This is the smallest AI development system in the world, capable of running models with up to 200 billion parameters locally, not connected to anything. It's powered by our highest-end Ryzen AI Max processor with 128 gigabytes of high-speed unified memory, that is shared by CPU, GPU, and NPU. This architecture accelerates system performance and makes it possible to efficiently run large AI models on a compact desktop PC that fits in your hand. Thank you. <laughs> Halo supports multiple operating systems natively, ships with our latest Rock'em software stack, comes preloaded with the leading open source developer tools and runs hundreds of models out of the box. And this really gives developers everything you need to build, test, and deploy local agents and AI applications directly on the PC. Now, for all of you who are wondering, Halo is launching in the second quarter of this year, and we can't wait for folks to get their hands on them. Over the break, uh, our team went to AMD's Silicon Valley office I, I hope they got your permission. <laughs> and uh, they, they did not, but that's okay. Okay, well, now here we are. 
We just use some regular phone cameras. There's no special equipment, just uh, just phones to capture a few images, and then we put them into World Lab's uh, a generative 3D generative model called Marble, and then our model that can use AMD's MI325X chip and the Rockham uh, stack software stack can create a 3D version of that environment, and including windows, doors, furniture, size, and, and a sense, a sense of depth and scale. And keep in mind, you're not looking at photos. You're not looking at videos. You're looking at truly 3D consistent worlds. And then our team started to have a little more fun and decided to de you turn You decided AMD. to remodel? Exactly, yes, yeah. for free for you. <laughs> <laughs> for different uh, design styles, right? <laughs> I don't know which one you guys like the most. I personally really like the Egyptian one, but uh, um, maybe that's because I'm going there in a few months. <laughs> and uh, while this transformation is keeping the geometric consistency and, and the 3D uh, inputs. So um, you can imagine this can be such powerful tools for many use cases, whether you're doing robotic simulation or game development or design. This can, what would traditionally take months to do in a typical workload, we really could do it in minutes now. Our first human drop design basically that defines our DNA in terms of products, Gene 1. And I'm really happy to say that Gene 1 today has been ready to be released right now. Is this gorgeous or what? <laughs> Danny, tell us about Gene 1. So our vision is a future where humans remain in the center, supported by technology. That's why we focus on building human robots that people can trust and accept. For us, acceptability means beauty, grace, and safety. Gene 1 is Italian by design. Is it really Italian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, but basically, what really sets, uh, sets Gene, uh, Gene 1 apart is touch. A distributed tight skin across the robot body allows Gene 1 to feel pressure, contact, and intention making, and intention making touch a primary source of intelligence. Just to give you examples why this is so important, uh, in factories, uh, touch makes possible basically to allow human robot collaboration. And uh, in healthcare, that is going to be pivotal. Basically, a patient can hold the robot and he can feel how to help the patient in the best way. So this enables safer decisions and more natural interaction in the real world, powered by MD computers platforms. Our first commercial humanoid will be manufactured in the second half of 2026, and we are already working with industrial partners, including a leading steel manufacturer, to, to deploy these robots in safety critical environments. Lisa, this is not science fiction. And we're making it happen thanks to you. Thank you so much, Danny. This is uh, truly exciting. We are super excited about what Gene One can do. Thank you for being here. Thank you.